right, this is uh, the last formal installment of the derivative algorithm series. We started with the power rule, learning how to apply linearity uh, because derivatives are a linear operator. Then we moved on to the product and the quotient rule for functions multiplied by other functions and functions divided by other functions. And we really only have one main thing left, which is the chain rule. And the chain rule tells us how to deal with a function within a function if we want to take the derivative of those functions. So in this case, I'm writing my overall function as h of x, and it's equal to f of g of x. So wherever there's an x and f, I plug in g of x. And so how would I write that? Well, I start with f of x, which is 2x squared, so this is 2x squared. But because I'm replacing all the x's in f of x with the function g of x, I'm going to write the function x squared plus 3x, which is g of x, within f of x. So it's kind of like Russian nesting dolls. We have a smaller function inside of the outer function, inner function outside of uh, uh, the outer function with an inner function within. And that's how I would write h of x for this case, when f of x is 2x squared and g of x is x squared plus 3x. Well, what if I want to take the derivative of this function? So I'm going to show you the general form first. When h of x equals f of g of x, how do I take the derivative to find h prime of x? Well, the first step is I'm going to take the derivative of the outer function without changing the inner function. So that looks like this. I'm going to take f prime of g of x. And there's one more step. We have to go take care of the inner function. And to do that, you multiply this whole thing by the derivative of g with respect to x, or g prime x. And so, for example, up here, um, to find the, the uh, h prime of x for this example, I'm going to I apply the power rule for the outer function. The outer function is 2 something squared. I'm going to pull down my 2 and multiply that to the constant out front, which gives me 4. And because I applied the power rule, I have to subtract 1 from the power. So I brought down a 2 multiplied by 2, that gave us 4. 2 minus 1 is 1, so this whole thing is just to the first power. And we still have the inner function g of x within f of x. So g of x is x squared plus 3x. Now the next step is to take care of the derivative of the inner function, which is g prime of x. And g prime of x, if we apply a linearity and the power rule, we'll find that g prime of x is, we bring down the 2, 2x, two subtract 1 from the power, which leaves us with just to the power of 1, and 3x, applying linearity, we can take these two separately. The derivative of 3x is just 3, because, um, uh, because this is um, just attached to a single x that is of no power, um, what we end up with is the 1 comes down and multiplies by the 3. That just gives us 3. Then we have to subtract uh, 1 power from x, which gives us x to the 0, and any number to 0 is 1. So 3 times 1, that's what we're left with. Now, do remember to keep these functions in brackets. So in other words, if I wrote this without the brackets or parentheses, it might appear as though the 3 wasn't a part of the multiplication of this part of the function, but it is according to the chain rule, so it's important to remember to keep your parentheses. So that is the chain rule in a nutshell, and uh, essentially what it's used for is functions within a function. Now I just kind of want to give, give maybe one really in-depth practice problem that that utilizes um, at least three of the rules. We'll say the power rule, the product rule, and the chain rule. And so um, let's pick a couple of functions. Let's say f of x equals, um, 
let's say f of x equals 2, um, 2 with a function inside of it of x squared times x cubed plus 1, and all of this is to the power of 3. Alright, so my first step, due to the chain rule, my first step is I'm going to you know, apply the power rule to this larger outer function. So I bring down the 3, it multiplies by the 2, and it gives me a 6. Everything on the inside stays the same for now um, because of the chain rule. And then we subtract 1 from the power, that gives us to the 2. Alright, so now we have to multiply this by the derivative with respect to x of this inner function, x squared times x cubed plus 1. And how do we take the derivative of this? Well, we have a product, right? We've got two products, or I'm sorry, we have two um, things multiplying together in a product. So we're going to apply the product rule over here, which says first be second plus second be first. All right, so first derivative of the second, the derivative of x cubed plus 1 using the power rule is 3x squared, because the 1 goes away because it's constant. So first be second plus second, x cubed plus 1, x cubed plus 1, d first, and the derivative of x squared is 2x, 2x. All right, so we've now applied the product rule, and this whole thing, because of the chain rule, must multiply into the derivative of the outer function. And this is what we're left with, is um, f prime of x, the derivative of f with respect to x, is equal to the derivative of the outer function times the derivative of the inner function, so that's the chain rule. And because the inner function was composed of a product, we use the product rule uh, for the derivative of the inside of the function. Um, this stuff takes some practice, usually most derivatives that are challenging are going to use pretty much all the rules, um, including some trigonometric ones, um, for example, that are on your table of derivatives. Um, but because you have a table for those, that should help quite a bit. Um, I'll see you next video.